in our kitchen just a few moments ago, cooking a delicious dinner for, for Valentine's Day. It's almost a little bit embarrassing, not enough to not do it, but to do the two hacks in the kitchen. Yeah. And it's almost <laughs> a combination with Air Fryer Friday, even though it's a Tuesday, because we're going to use our Air Fryer chicken wings for the big game. So a lot of times when you order chicken wings, and you stated this at the beginning of the show, you never know how many you know to have. You, right. you don't know what people are going to eat. So when it comes to reheating them, one of the best ways is an air fryer, mm -hmm. if you have one at home. A microwave, what happens? It's too soggy. Right. If you put them back into the oven, it's a big process and it takes a lot longer to do. Sometimes you can have a toaster oven, but this is one of those things where you won't overly dry it out. It will still have the flavor and the texture that you want. So. The first lesson here, the air fryer is the route to go to reheat those wings. About 350. And the thing about the air fryer, too, to remember is that you can do things like use parchment paper. Yes, it's not yeah. like a microwave where you have to be careful about what you don't put in it. It's a little bit more forgiving in that way. So let's say you've made your wings and you have sauce on them. You definitely want to put something right. underneath them. But what if they're naked wings or you just have cooked them up and you want to make fresh sauce to put them in? There's a very easy recipe that our producer Kendra has come up with for us to try to ruin, but I don't <laughs> think it's possible. And it's a Parmesan um, garlic sauce. Yeah, and this, I think it's the perfect kind of, uh, I don't know, coating to put on chicken because it's like universal, universal appeal. Yeah, who like doesn't it. like it? Right. So we're going to start out with the butter. And for the butter, it is melted. And it's just about a half a cup. We typically eyeball these things, but we happen to have had it measured out for us. All right. And then a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. All right. I'm going to use that same cup. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then we have a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. I'm going to eyeball that. That's literally it other than the pepper, right? Yeah. And then even the pepper, I don't know, would you add it now or would you add it afterwards? You, you, know, would, um, you would do the pepper now. I have no idea how much I put ah. in that. You know, they say eyeball it, but it comes out in such a small <laughs> amount, can't tell. I also feel like when you're done cooking it, you could put that back on there as well, a little more. And there are part. some people who would probably drizzle this on and then maybe put the wings back in a little bit, or you could just put it on the side. Some people prefer to have their sauce on the side. I would imagine most of these ingredients too, you have at home already. And maybe you don't have garlic powder, but you have garlic salt or whatever. I mean, I yeah, think it's pretty Nothing too pretty difficult. And then it, it is as easy as just coating it. Yeah. That is how simple it is. And these came out really, really well with the crispiness aspect. So they're in there. I'm going to take one out to, to show it. Glisten. Look at that. Look at that. That is, that is incredible. A very, very easy way to have something delicious and hot at the big game festivities <laughs> happening in your home this weekend. We're going to be right back.